uh, today if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you don't, I'll leave the links in the description below. Um, yeah, I've been helping Aaron from Car Obsession. Hello everyone. Uh, with uh, videoing for a review of the Alfa Romeo Julia. Um, what a gorgeous car it is. It is, it is. It is. And, um, Again, if you don't know already, I am ordered, I've ordered a 3 Series, a 335D in particular, um, a Touring. Um, I won't leave too much, I won't tell you too much about a spec because I want to leave that till the collection day, which this guy here will be coming with me to pick up along with a few other people, close friends and stuff. Um, but yeah, back to the Julia. Um, so I haven't really, well, I'm not allowed to drive it because at the moment, uh, it's Aaron in Aaron's possession and he's only insured to drive it so that does nope. sound good doesn't it? It's in my possession. Yeah, he's in his possession. This is my car <laughs> for so, now. So he's had it for a week and Aaron's style of filming is at the end of the week, which makes sense. He films a full review about how he's found the car. Um, mm. So I will leave the link because by that time his video will be out before this one. Um, so fast. yeah, um, so I'll leave the, um, the link in the description. Leave some comments and obviously I'll help to film a lot of it. Um, so it'd be great to see some criticism and if it's good or positive or bad, um, it'd be great. Love informative stuff. Um, so yeah, the Julia. I hope to get one myself, um, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I'll just get my first impressions of the car. Um, so if you don't know, it rivals between the 3 Series and the C-Class mainly. There are probably are other manufacturers that are in the market, but we're not really going to include it because it doesn't really come close to anything else. Mm. Um, the first thing that we kind of had a mixed opinion on, well, other journalists had a mixed opinion on, is the interior. So if you read up about the car, watch some of the YouTube videos, um, they kind of, not slate the interior, but they kind of disagree with it and kind of prefer the BMW's interior, which, me saying this, getting one, I think this is a lot better. Yeah, and I, I was quite surprised to, to hear you say that. Now, I haven't really, been inside a 3 Series. I've driven an M3, but that's not quite, no, quite the same. Because it's a fish, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because it's a bit more performance orientated. Yeah. And I've never sat in a C car, so I can't. I can't compare. But the inside of the Julia is is lovely. Um, this is a mid-range model, so you've got a nice soft touch dashboard. You've got leather yeah. on the dash as well. Leather steering wheel, of course. Even the base model gets a leather steering wheel. And overall, it's a nice place to be. Plus, you've got these really nice chunky sports yeah, seats. Yeah, the seats are very nice, very comfortable. They're like armchairs. Again, the, the BMW seats, they're a bit bland. No, the car, I can't believe I'm saying that. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot you can do about seats in a car when you're buying it. You can't really change them unless I went and spent crap loads of money on uh, composition seats, which would be great too, but I can imagine how much they cost. Mm. But um, yeah, so the interior has surprised me a lot. It's very simple. There isn't lots going on in here. Um, and yeah, no, the seats are probably the best. The colour, the red. So red leather isn't really people's strong suit. You don't really see cars with red leather. No, but believe it or not, this is a standard, standard, isn't it? But yes, it is. So, so you've got three choices. You can either have red, which I think yeah. suits for Julia really, really well. And this comes from someone that doesn't like red leather yeah. normally. Um, or you can have something a bit more subtle, such as black. Or you can have brown as well. And yeah. That's all. Uh, that's all standard with this particular model. Okay. So you don't, you don't have to pay more. Oh, for so it. you don't have to pay for any colour at all. No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. Which that's is quite impressive. Yeah. No, that's fine. And yeah, the next the next thing I quite like is the engine. I mean, it's diesel, and we all know diesels are fading out. But yeah. I argue to the point where well, I'm getting a diesel. The 335 is a diesel, but it's a very. It's probably one of the best diesel engines you can buy, just for the power, torque, and just economy everything everything about it is probably mm -hmm. one of the best diesel engines and we researched it a lot um because we were looking for a car which we can use for pocket rockets camera camera car then as a daily usage and all that kind of stuff so it factored in a lot and always came back to bmw um so yeah it's probably everyone's thinking oh well you've gone for a diesel and they're fading out but there's a good few years until that happens and i'd rather know that i've gone for a superior diesel and enjoy it and then I know that I've driven one of the best diesel engines you can buy. So, and again, this is no slouch. I mean, this is a 2.2 diesel engine. It produces around 180 brake. Yeah, 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 yeah. 178 yeah. brake horsepower. Oh, about um, 500, uh, 450 newton meters around that kind of. Yep, spot on. Yeah, spot so, on. Um, it pulls yes, really well. Yeah. As you will know, the characteristic of the diesel, we've got loads and loads of low end torque. So, 
when you put your foot down, mm. you just get an absolute shunt of it and then it kind of dies off and yeah. becomes useless at the end of the rev range, but that's just to be expected. Um, mm. Whereas with the 335D, for example, um, they've got two turbochargers, so one's for low end and one's for high end, so you kind of keeps power all the way through. Mm. Um, yeah, no, but no, the, for, the, the one thing that we said about was the fuel economy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. You know, I don't want to slate for slate for car, but for fuel economy and for the car is uh, below average. I think that's the nicest way I can put it. So this particular engine on a combined run, it should offer you 67.3 miles yeah. per gallon. Which and is a in, bit far off, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, in my experience, I've been getting mid 40s, which is um, yeah about 20 off, which yeah, it's yeah, not it's fantastic. Not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not as frugal as I was expecting. No, definitely not. But um, really, what manufacturer gives a uh, accurate fuel economy reading really anyway yeah um or even the suzuki booster jet i drove a few months ago that was nowhere near what they claim to have um, yeah. provided yeah i think well oh, god the sun's bright it isn't um yeah no i struggled i think because i was driving it quite spiritly which <laughs> you would do anyway but um um yeah no i, I wouldn't say it was bad bloody hell it's sun mm. it's come down low mm. uh i think the thing is we, Especially with a turbocharged car, yeah. uh, it's always going to be different. Whereas I've driven a few, uh, a few naturally aspirated cars, and I find that they're they're much truer to be to the official figure yeah. than their turbocharged or their ind indeed their, su their supercharged um, counterparts would be. Yeah, so I find turbos can be, yeah, they can be a bit deceiving sometimes. But back to the positives, that we've said about the interior being superb. That's lovely. But it's the exterior as well, which is, I mean, the front is a little bit, you can question the front a bit. What? I think with the lights. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is nice looking. Um, so, so Chris, if you'd like to jump out now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you kind of understand where I'm coming from, you must do. The light, for for when you look at, say, the A3 there, it's quite it's quite neutrally balanced and styling. So mm. it's, not, it's not going over the top too much. I don't know how to, kind of describe it. I'm gonna move on from that. I'm gonna move on from that. But no, other than the front, which we can argue about for days, the, the rest of the car is lovely, especially the back. Mm. Um yeah no, it is a car that you can fall in love with pretty much. It is, it Any, is. Anytime you look at it you just you never get bored of it. Yeah and, and every time I've locked it and locked the yeah, driveway, away, you walk I, away I, you know, I have to turn around a typical and get, car cliche of and when get, you yeah an owner walks by their car if you if you're not if you um, don't look at your car when you walk off, you're not a car guy. That kind yeah, of thing, yeah, exactly. But <laughs> no, every time I, I've had to uh, turn back and give it another glance because it is beautiful. I wouldn't have it in this colour. So this car is in, finished in alpha white. Yeah. It's, it's been a, a bit of a struggle for filming today. Yeah, it, it's a solid <laughs> colour, so it's not metallic or anything. It's nice, but no, I personally wouldn't have it. I still could lift it. Yeah. So you won't be able to tell in Aaron's video, but he's new to the area, he's come to my neck of the woods to film, um, just to change up and uh, I tend to be uh, where I am, where I live, has got great B-roads and if you've mm. already watched some of my videos, you'll see the similarity to his video because it's in the same location. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's the, other than other than everything that we spoke about, yeah, I've been very impressed for the short, the short amount of time or the day I've been in it, it's been very impressive mm. to be in the car. I mean, it's so smooth as well. It's comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. So, oh, I mean, there, there's the a pot, quite, the pot quite big, yeah. yeah, there's potholes everywhere, as you know. If anyone, uh, if anyone argues that they've never been on a pothole, I don't know what if you even drive them. But um, yeah, you hit a pothole usually in the Civic, for example. Yeah. It's like I'm two hitting, potholes there. Yeah, nothing. You know, in the Civic, it's like I'm hitting a bloody nuclear <laughs> bomb or whatever into, <laughs> into it. But with this, you just you're like, did you even go over a hole? That's we question it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and as a, for it being a diesel as well, yeah, it sounds a bit. You can hear the diesel like sound, but compared to how far diesels have come now, you can, yeah, it's a big improvement. Mm. But, um, the one thing that, well, it's another thing that I don't get is that it's quite weird how Alpha have come back onto the market with something like this when the likes of BMW and Mercedes have had the target audience for so long. How do you feel about it? I I personally think it's been a, a good move for the brand. Yeah, they've made, it, a good, they've made a really good attempt at it. And, um, hats down, hats down. Yeah, it's been yeah, it's a really really good way to come back 
especially with a quadrifolio, that's, that's, just a, that's just a nice piece of kit that is. Um, yeah, I think I think the thing that lets it down really is the price. I mean, would you say this this was the way this is specced up now? It's about is it over its forties, isn't it? Well, in this particular this particular car is um, just over forty one thousand pounds, but it does have a lot of options on it. Yeah. Um, I would say without without the options, it, I'd say it's competitive, uh, competitively priced with its rivals, such yeah. as you know, C class and three series and so forth. So I don't really see a problem with the price. What I what I would be wary of as an owner would be residual values. So how much the car will depreciate. Yeah. That's that's one one thing that that would concern me. Yeah. Well, the thing is, that I don't because of the car I've got is the, the 355 diesel we ordered is more in price anyway because of the engine and it's the, the highest it's the highest spec BMW 3 Series you can buy apart from the, the 340. Um, and you might say M3, but I've, we're getting a touring version, and they don't do a touring M, M3, so it is like maybe they should. Yeah, I would, I well, the only car, car, car well, the only the only way you can get close is getting an Alpina. Um, oh yes, of and that's even more money. So yes, um, you'd argue it's worth it, but in terms of in terms of value, yeah, you've got to yeah, put a lot more a lot more money down to get something like that. I think in your situation you wouldn't miss an Alpina if that makes sense. Uh, because yeah, no, that's exactly right. Yeah, so right. I think for what you want, you know, yeah. the car you're going for, it sounds perfect. Yeah. So yeah. So, yeah, no. And um, yeah, so I can't really kind of grasp how much the equivalent 3 series would be, which would almost be a 320D. Um, it, would, it wouldn't be far off. Uh, I did I yeah. did do some some quick quick research and the prices aren't that much different. Yeah. But the way I've gone about buying the free series, I've managed to get a really big discount um, through, well, you know, you, I think you know him now, didn't you? Mm. Um, TRL deals, Tony yeah. Lewis. You know, he's been he's been great. I've not actually seen him in person. We've done the whole deal over the phone, which in, is really convenient. And for anyone that wants, to say, lives up north and they're not having to go and see the salesman, it works out great. And then you save a hell of a lot of money in the process. Um, for for me. We've saved about eleven and a half grand, so that's yeah, yeah. That's that's not to be sniffed yeah. at. <laughs> You're left with, mate. Yeah, no worries. Um, so yeah, in terms of the argument point of price wise, in my eyes, it's I'm getting a car that's cheaper than this is, if that makes sense. Yeah, that does so make it's sense. A, it's, I've got a lot more to offer, but um, yeah, if you are just a normal Joe Blogs and you don't have the opportunity of getting deals like that, then yeah, the three series to the this kind of there's no kind of price difference as such. So. Yeah. I think the 3 Series is more powerful though, it's got I think 200 brake or just over 200 brake. I wouldn't know if I look at um, I'm going to be honest. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, no, it's um, no, it's been an interesting day today. And mm -hmm. um, big thank you to Aaron, he's come down, um, obviously he's come down because I've helped him, but yeah, no, it's, um, I hope as I said to get one myself so I can share my opinion on the car, because yeah, he's a spectacular car. and. Mm. I want to try and venture into more cars than just hot hatches. Um, so yeah, no, he's a lively little car. And yeah, again, thank you to Aaron. Um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, try not to talk too much because we like to talk. Uh, yeah, yeah we drag, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> we, dra we drag on too much. So yeah. Um, hopefully you haven't seen our ugly mugs too much because I'll pan in shots of interior. Speak for yourself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Thanks for watching guys, hope you liked. Remember to like and subscribe and I hope to do some more videos of Aaron in the future. A lot more projects. Anyway. Sounds good to me. Um, but in the meantime, take care guys. Thanks for watching.